In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Pinterest conversion API or you can say Pinterest server side tracking on our website with Google Tag Manager. First of all, let me show you some steps. If we follow those steps, we can easily set up Pinterest conversion API. You have to follow those steps very mindfully because server side tracking is a complex process. So let's see those steps. Here you go. First of all, we need a Pinterest ad account. So let's see, this is my Pinterest ad account. If I click here, you can see I have two ad accounts and I'm going to use here this ad account, plant shop. So I'm gonna check this step. And the next step is Google Tag Manager web container with events setup. Let me show you, this is my Google Tag Manager web container. If I go to text section, you will see here I have set up all of Pinterest event in this web container that I have showed you in previous videos. So I'm gonna check this step also. In the next step, we need Google Tag Manager server container provisioned with a cloud server and configured with GA4 client. Let me show you. This is my Google Tag Manager server container. If I click on the GTM container ID, then you can see here your server has been manually provisioned i have provisioned manually this container with step.io cloud platform and i have also a client in client section and that is ga4 so i'm going to check this step also if you need to know how to create google tag manager server container and how to provision it with a cloud platform and how to configure the ga4 client in server container of google tag manager then i have left a video link in the description you should watch that video very carefully in the next step we need pinterest conversion api tech setup in server container of gtm so let's do that go to google tag manager server container and then go to tag section then take a new tag click on tag configuration unfortunately we have no tag template for pinterest conversion api by default so we have to go to template gallery so click here template gallery and search here pinterest here you go pinterest api for conversions tag by pinterest so click here to add your workspace and then click on add now what we need is advertiser id for this id we have to go to pinterest ad account if i click on this circle button then you will see here your ad account and the id this is the advertiser id and we can also get this id if we go to our business manager now from the left hand menu go to ad accounts here you go this is your advertiser id now you should select here your ad account this is the same id ad account id that means advertiser id so click here to copy and then go to server container so paste here your advertiser id enter here your api access token for this token go to pinterest ad account again and then click here go to ad account from this list go to view conversion tax this is our event manager from this event manager go to api for conversions and click here conversion access token now scroll down a bit here you go generate new token so click here and copy this access token go to server container and paste here api access token the next option is event name here are two options inherit from client override client that means how do you want to name your conversion api events do you want to inherit from client that means you will keep the event names as client receive from web container or you can choose here override client if you check this you will get a table and will be able to select your event names i'm going to choose here inherit from client and then event data that means which data do you want to send from server container to your pinterest event manager if i leave this unchecked then whichever data my ga4 client will receive from web container will send to pinterest event manager if i check this then i will be able to filter my event data user data and custom data from here i'm going to leave it unchecked and then directly go to triggering so click here triggering and select from here client ga4 now give the tag a name i'm going to name it pinterest conversion api tag then click on save 
Okay, our Pinterest conversion tag is ready. Let's see again the steps list. Pinterest conversion API tag setup in server container of GTM is complete, so check it. And the next step is set up Pinterest events for server side container on your web container of Google Tag Manager. Now let's go to Google Tag Manager web container. Since this video is going to be very lengthy, so I will just show you to set up page view event. So let's go. From the text section, take a new tag, click on tag configuration and from tag template select from here Google Analytics J4 event and paste here your measurement ID. So I'm going to paste here my measurement ID. It's taking yes Google tag found in this container. Now write here your event name. I'm going to name it as Pinterest event manager. If I go to event history then you will see the event name page visit i'm going to name it as it is and for event deduplication i have to add here an event id in the event parameter section so click here event parameters and add parameter right here event id and its value will be event id so click on this plus icon i haven't configured any event id variable here so i'm going to create a new variable so click on plus icon and click on variable configuration and choose from here event id you may not get this variable in your variable section but don't worry go to variable template gallery and search here event id here you go select event id and click to add to your workspace i have already added so i'm going to select it event id then give this variable a name i'm going to name it event id so click on save and it will be inserted in our value table then go to triggering i'm going to select here the triggering j4 view item trigger now give this tag a name i'm going to name it pinterest server site page visit tag now click on save our web container tag is ready so now we should also add the event id to our j4 server side configuration tag so let's go to this tag and from configuration settings add a parameter here and name it event id and its value will be that event id variable so search here okay then save and we should also add the event id with the pinterest page visit tag of browser side here we go this is the Pinterest server side page visit tag and this is the Pinterest page visit tag for browser side. Go to this tag, scroll down and enable here custom parameters and add a row and name it event id and its value will be the event id variable and then save. I want to check the steps list again. So set up Pinterest events for uh, server container on web container is complete so i'm going to check it now we have to test in web container of ztm and server container of ztm preview and pinterest event manager so it's time to check if this tag is working properly so let's go to google tag manager then go to your web container preview mode and also go to your server container preview you can see here there is no event i'm going to web container preview mode enter here web website url and click on connect tag assistant connected let's visit a product now i'm going to tag assistant tab and click on continue you can see here our pinterest server side page visit tag is fired so now i'm going to server container preview you can see here also an event is received named page visit and our pinterest conversion api tag is also fired now we should get this event in our pinterest event manager so i'm going to pinterest event manager and refresh this tab okay now scroll down now you can see here our page visit tag is received from api and tag that means the api from server side and the tag is from browser side if i scroll up if you go to api for conversions you can also see here on october 15 when i'm creating this video a psv event is received so we can say our pinterest conversion api is working properly
So now let's see what's left of the list. We have tested and checked the tag in our web container and server container and also we have got our data in Pinterest event manager. So we can check this step also. Now the left is uh, publish web container and server container. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and I am gonna publish the server container. Click on submit and name it Pinterest API and publish. Now I'm gonna publish the web container also. This is the web container. So click on submit and give the version a name Pinterest API and then publish. If we don't publish our containers, then our tag will not be working in the real cases. So when our test will be successful, then you must have to publish your container. So that's it in this video. If you need any help or if you have any question or suggestion, don't hesitate to drop down in the comment box. I really appreciate your questions and suggestions. And if you need any service for Google Ads, Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, Conversion API, Server Site Tracking, etc., then I am a professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork. You can place an order on these marketplaces. Otherwise, you can also contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail address. If you found this video useful, then don't hesitate to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.